It was a momentous occasion on Thursday, July 1, 2021, when Caco St. Lucie officially opened its doors to the public. The artisanal chocolate factory located at Belvedere Canneries handcrafts its chocolate nib, bar, and truffle to create an inimitable cocoa experience for its patrons. Maria Jackson, operations manager and owner of Caco St. Lucie, has a background in confectionery as a pastry chef. She envisions Caco St. Lucie will amplify the village's tourism product. We offer four experiences. They start from a bean to bar orientation tour, and that basically is just a familiarization of the, the nature of how our chocolate is made, understanding the quality of the product from inception of harvesting to, um, to the final package packaging and wrapping of the chocolate, a lot of attention is placed into that. So we want our guests to get that sort of understanding of, of that chocolate of cho that chocolate process. Um, the other experience we offer is uh, workshops. So the workshop basically is an in-depth, uh, giving our customers or clients an in-depth understanding of how the chocolate is made and actually getting an opportunity to make it themselves. Established in 2015, Caco St. Lucie went from a cottage industry operation to occupying a 200-square-foot building consisting of a production wing, retail area, workshop space, and restaurant. When in full operation, the company hopes to employ 25 individuals from the community, contributing to its economic development. Caco St. Lucie also aspires to become one of St. Lucia's leading export brands. Export St. Lucia Chief Executive Officer, CEO Sunita Daniel, says Export St. Lucia is working with the business to assist it in realizing that dream. We've been with um, Kako St. Lucia from the very beginning um, because we've recognized the potential of the product to really um, go into the export markets and the international markets. So we've actually assisted them with um, packaging and branding and we've done some market research. We've actually taken them on a mission with us to the UK to look at what the market is like. And I can tell you that the market for chocolates is in the billions of US dollars now. And so we are actually not um, making full use of the market out there. And so we're very happy that an authentic, a small company like Kako CPC could actually make that move. And so we're here to support them and to ensure that they get into the international markets. Minister for Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries and Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary Canneries, Honorable Dominic Fady says the opening of Kako St. Lucie creates opportunity for the revitalization of the cocoa industry in the community of canneries. Their success is going to help all of our success. It's going to help the cocoa farmers in Sufre. It's going to help um, the cocoa farmers in Mikut South and cocoa farmers all over St. Lucia. And I am just so inspired, and I'm sure that so many of you are inspired by this. The Ministry of Tourism is very proud of the small part that we have played in making sure that the concessions um, available for this facility was approved by the cabinet. So thank you, the chairman of our cabinet, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, for your support in making sure that uh, this small business enjoys the same tax breaks that many large companies in St. Lucia do enjoy. The community of Canaries has been the home of an icicle and curing factory, both of which were foreign owned. The opening of locally owned and operated Caco St. Lucie places significant focus on the empowerment of young women in the community. From the Government Information Service, I am Hilma DeMarc reporting.